the days of Penny Banner. I oh. read her book, and what a great book. Did you know that she said that Elvis Presley used to come to the show? Sometimes he wouldn't. He didn't go in. He might wait for her afterwards. Wow. I'm telling you, it was in her book. Yeah. I was like, wow. That's kind I of got a cool I got an Elvis Presley story for you. Do you know who the announcer, Harry Carey, the famous announcer? Yeah, I know who that is. Sure. Harry Carey was once uh, had to go to Memphis to call the, the Liberty Bowl. Okay. And it was way back when. I forget who the hell was running because I didn't even know Harry Carey had ever, ever called a football game. Right. I didn't know this. Yeah. Went there. Elvis found out Harry Carey was at the hotel uh, near where uh, Graceland was. Mm -hmm. so he calls the hotel three times, gets put through to Harry Carey's room. Hey, Harry Carey, this is Elvis Presley, and I, I'd like to meet you out in the lobby. I want to take you to dinner. Harry Carey hung up on him three times. <laughs> Did not think he was the real Elvis. He calls back again. He said, sir, this is Elvis. Please just go down to the lobby. Wait for such and such Cadillac to pull up. That will be me. If, oh. if, if, if you will please get in the car with me, let's you and I go have dinner somewhere. Oh. And, and if it's a rib, no, just act like you got a newspaper and no one will know the difference. But I promise you, Mr. Carey, I will be there. Oh, so he finally goes down, meets him down. And Elvis Presley pulls up, picks him up, and they go to dinner. And, uh, so uh, one, his old, one of his old announcing party, uh, partners, uh, uh, Tom Brenneman told that story the other day and it just blew me away that I believe it. we wanted to meet Harry Carey. So I, I believe that. I believe the wrestling story. Uh, oh was, yeah. And you know what? I met Penny. Well, before Penny passed, she had wrote, I never got to meet her one-on-one, -on -one, but she did write in my book, but I did meet her daughter at one of those wrestling legend conventions. Uh, yeah. I think North Carolina, her daughter, yeah. very kind, very sweet. And, yeah. um, but I didn't get to meet uh, her, but you know what? There's a good Elvis Presley, that HBO one he did called the Sir mm. well, that they did appear awesome. the searcher. I saw it. Awesome. I, I liked it. it too. Very good. Very yeah. good. Uh, two, two, two hour parts of that. I watched both of them and I, I, I think I watched it again just because I it made me feel hurt. sad. I kind of felt sad for Elvis. Did you kind of feel well, kind of the way I felt sad for Andre the giant? Yeah. Uh, that he died alone and that he yes. just didn't have many real friends. Right. And I yeah. bet you Elvis was much in that same boat. I mean, yeah, I think Michael think Jackson was like that too. Michael Jackson probably had that too. Oh, he just, and I yeah. loved Michael. I mean, yeah. uh, we, we told a story on OVW TV once that we were guests of Michael's at Graceland. And I said, and Mo Morris was my butler. And I said, Morris got to sleep in the good bed. And Morris said, <laughs> just creeping out and just, no, <laughs> I don't want to sleep in that bed again. But I honestly, and call me a fool if you want, I honestly don't think Michael had it in him to ever hurt a child because he, he, he right. got so little of a childhood himself. Right. We'll make up the stories, but no one ever had an ounce of proof and uh, lots of accusations, people trying to get money, but no proof. Well, well, I, think I don't innocent. think that man would harm a child for I, anything in, on the planet. I really I think don't. it was innocent. I think it's something that me and you probably wouldn't be do, would do because yeah, you think of the red flags. Sleeping in Kenny Boland's bed, that's going to be a life sentence in prison. Yeah, but I, I don't. Jackson, it seemed all right. Yeah. It, it, Even it, though he was innocent. Age. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. It, well, sometimes you can get to that certain level of fame, and we all. I think when we get into wrestling, want, uh, I mean, it still amazes me that people all over the world know me, even though I barely left Louisville. I mean, I, I didn't leave the state, the bordering states, maybe Tennessee, West Virginia, Ohio. Uh, and I went up New England to do Wolfie's deal, but I, I didn't, uh, and, unless I was part of a, a wrestling territory, I mean, Alabama I only did a handful of times, Florida a handful. Um, I basically stayed in Louisville for 30 years. And wow. it just amazes me that people in six continents buy my merchandise still to this day. I've been retired. Uh, God, it was it, the September 23rd will be um, six years since I retired. And it just amazes me that, that, that the, what we have to work with now, like what we're doing now, you're sitting in Nashville and I'm sitting here and we're having a podcast. And, and thanks to DVD, the Ohio Valley Wrestling DVDs gave me my fame. Hear what you did. Your 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 rise to fame was eighty five to ninety, right. but here you're you're still riding it uh, many 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 years.